Okay, so how do we prove that we are actually holding the assets that you have deposited into Cake DeFi in your account? And the second question is, how do we prove that the sum of all the assets in those accounts uh, make up the total sum of assets at Cake DeFi? Hello everyone, I'm Roger. I'm the VP of Engineering here at Cake DeFi. The simplest way of just proving what is in everyone's account would actually be, let's say we, we just copy all the data in our database, account by account, and we publish it as a long list. There are two problems with this though. First of all, everyone is not going to agree to have their account published in this long list. And if it's a big list that's passed around from person to person, it could actually be modified on the way. I don't think that you or me would like our personal accounts to be published to everyone. Already in medieval times, if the king had a decree or wanted to send his message to his general who was five days away, he would uh, write on a paper, put it in a sealed envelope and put his va wax seal on it. And if the wax seal was unbroken when it got there uh, and it looked like his seal, the, uh, the general would actually trust what... Uh, what he was reading. We still do it the same way, but we don't use wax, we don't use a seal, we don't use horses. Instead, we use cryptography. The most appropriate way of doing this would be to use what's called a Merkle tree. This was uh, invented by Ralph Merkle in 1979. Ralph had no idea about what cryptocurrency is, what a coin is, or well, not a digital coin at least, but a mathematical model he came up with is useful even today. A Merkle tree is actually a data structure that guarantees that each node, each information carrier, each account is unchanged in relation to the root of the tree. The root would be the top account, the total sum of assets or liabilities of Cake DeFi. During this presentation, I will be using liabilities and assets interchangeable. And it's, we are really talking about the same thing here. As a customer or user of Cake DeFi, you put our, your assets on our platform. When we take care of them for you, they become our liabilities. So let's draw a Merkle tree. To simplify here, I'm gonna draw eight accounts instead of millions, uh, because we have limited time and it will visualize the example much more clearly. We are gonna call them leaves. So I will be drawing eight leaves here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna assign a random number to each account. Let's say we are only doing Bitcoin now and uh, I'm gonna do whole numbers. One, two, four, eight, nine, one, three, seven, for example. In reality, it's actually a data structure that contains several assets. Uh, what you, you have DFI, you have ETH, you have BTC, and you have some of them in liquidity mining and you have some on staking. But to simplify in this example, let's just represent it as one number that represents your assets. Okay, so we have the accounts here as a list, and then we need to calculate and draw the rest of the tree. We are going to do this as a binary tree, which means that accounts are summarized two by two. So uh, one plus two is summarized into three. Four plus eight is summarized in, uh, as a node of 12. And we can draw little lines here to show how they are belonging together. That's how it becomes a tree. Nine and one is 10. 3 and 7 is also 10. And we keep doing this level by level. So 3 plus 12 is 15. Uh, we're going to summarize 10 and 10 uh, into a node, and that's 20. Uh, and now we build the top node of the tree, also called a root. Uh, 15 plus 20 is 35. And we draw out these lines. So now, if you imagine, we turn this upside down, it's like, it's like a tree, sort of. The sums of all the accounts summarizes to 
what is actually in the root and which is the liabilities of Cake DeFi. Every single account we have at Cake DeFi is represented by an ID. In my example here, when I'm drawing at the iPad, I'm just going to represent them by one letter. So let's name them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So, okay, we are going to use this to, to calculate a hash for the next level up. I'm going to simplify this. Let's say our hashing function is simply I take the ID from the two nodes, A and B, and I add the number of assets from below, A, B, and 3. And for the next one, then, uh, it would be CD12. Okay, and I keep calculating this. Now I have done it for two here. I could do it for the next level up if I wanted. So now we take AB3, we take CD12, and we take 15 uh, and calculate. So we have A, B, 3, C, D, 12, 15. Okay, I know this is getting a bit technical and uh, by now this number doesn't represent anything. But just imagine that we have a mathematical function that can calculate this backwards and so on. As you can see here, the, the major effect of this is that if I were to change any amounts in any of the uh, accounts down here, the hash up here wouldn't be the same anymore. And uh, if you do this all the way in the tree, all the way to the top, to the root for this hash, we can actually guarantee that nobody changed the ID of any wallet, nobody uh, tried to change any of the amounts of uh, any account. Okay, what do I actually need uh, to be able to prove? that my account is part of this structure. Do I need the whole tree? No, here is where the brilliant thing comes in about the, the Merkle tree. I actually only need these two accounts here. Uh, I need my account and the neighboring account. Uh, I need the, the neighbor of the other node I built here, which is the derivative nodes, the calculated nodes. I need one up, from that, which would be the one that says 20 here. And I need its neighbor, and I need the full root of the tree. So, when you go to our website, uh, on our transparency page, you fill out your account ID, and you can download this data structure, uh, and it will contain your account, it will contain all the nodes in between you and the root, and we provide you with a tool. The, Merkle tree proof doesn't actually prove that we are holding something in a Bitcoin wallet or in a bank account. What it does prove is that we don't modify this tree after the fact, especially if we publish this root on the top uh, every time we recalculate everyone's account. Let's say we take this root information and with its cryptographic hash and we publish that on a blockchain in a message that can never be altered. Uh, that way you can guarantee that we haven't changed it after the fact. I encourage everyone to go to cakedefi.com slash transparency uh, and do this Merkle proof yourself. The more people who does this, uh, the stronger our proof will be. If one person is able to prove that somebody changed the information in my account, uh, that means that the whole model falls apart. So we actually want you to do this. Challenge me, try it out. <laughs> <laughs>